Unfortunately, the Azotain special attack appears to be either unfinished or simply bad. It seems like Digital Extremes had some plans for it, but it's unclear what exactly happened. However, despite this drawback, the weapon itself is pretty good. Its base critical values on primarily slash IPS makes up for the lackluster special attack. If you're looking for a well-rounded two-ended melee weapon, then the Azotane is definitely worth picking up. While the wise resistance for the two-handed Nikanas isn't the best in the game and has a relatively low DPS, the Azotane's primarily slash damage output more than compensates for it. Plus, the Wise Razor EV combo is incredibly powerful thanks to the two EV attack swings that guarantee brutal slash procs. For me, the Azotane has become my new favorite two-handed Nikana. However, any of the two-handed Nikanas in Warframe are strong and well-balanced. If you are having trouble dealing with EV units, simply set up a EV attack kill and aim for the head. The enemy will go down in one slash tick. During my testings, I realized that the Azotane special attack is likely unfinished or only meant to stagger enemies in an area of effect. Its damage only scales with slam and smite mods and sometimes it procs a random hit status on enemies. Some people full copy on and say that the special attack is meant to build up your combo counter, but that's more of a meme since the AoE radius of the shockwave is only 10 meters and its attack speed is quite slow. Using light attacks is as effective for building your combo counter, especially when you have prime reach in your build for a 6.2 meter range on the weapon. The Azoten is a well-balanced weapon that allows for hybrid builds. You can use light attacks to shred crowds of enemies and EV attacks to take down the strongest foes without armor stripping. As bleed does true damage, it's important to prime enemies with viral. As we primer the enemies for my build, I modded Condition Overload. To make headshots easier during EV attack combos, I modded Prime Reach. Additionally, since the second swing of the EV combo does a dash forward, you don't want to start the animation in the body of the Demolist. I'm then adding Prime Fury for attack speed and Blood Rush, Amagan Organ Shatter, Gladiator Might and Sacrificial Steel for critical damage. As I played the mission Sedna on Kappa, I used Prime Smite Greenier. And if you feel like the build is lacking in terms of slash procs on light attacks, consider replacing Sacrificial Steel with Whipping Wounds. 